Success for Alexandria in two years takes on two forms. First of which is to really have a strategic approach to how we procure and implement renewable energy systems. Not only how much we can install in our own facilities to offset our electricity use locally, but how we might take advantage of other programs that allow us to purchase uh, renewable energy from much larger utility scale systems. And whether that's in partnership with our peers, whether that's in partnership with a utility, having a strategy for how to do that and a clear pathway forward. What success looks like for Richmond in two years is to have a completed integrated climate action plan that's been adopted by our city council and that we're well on our way to implementing and that it has included within that climate action plan some really aggressive renewable energy goals and some clear projects and strategies. The participation by our peer cities makes this a really important vehicle to discuss what our peers are doing, how we might solve our problems collectively or overcome barriers collectively, learn from each other's stories and from the ways that we've approached problem solving as well as articulating benefits to our communities. The City of Alexandria is participating in the City's Renewable Accelerator for many reasons. First and foremost, it's a program that brings substantial technical expertise in the acquisition and use of renewable energy for a city from the World Resources Institute, Rocky Mountain Institute. Uh, just the, the breadth and depth of expertise that we as cities can learn from is just amazing. I've had opportunities over the years to travel internationally to really disadvantaged communities and to see the effects of climate change on a very personal level in the areas that may not have the resources otherwise to respond. I believe that I have privilege here in the United States to take action and I think it's my responsibility to do so and that's what motivates me every day.